Welcome back, everyone. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Just putting some stuff away. Somebody pointed out to me that I accidentally threw a bunch of stuff on the ground, so basically I'm just picking it back up. Also wanted to look at something real quick. Where is it? We've got a little bit of a sadness thing going on here, which is not so good. Um, probably need to deal with that. Next time we're hungry, I'm going to eat one of the foods that improves uh, your feelings on things. I can't remember think of the words for that. Um, but we are going to, today we're going to focus a little bit on um, cleaning up the area. This is not actually what I meant by cleaning up the area, but we're going to do this instead for the moment. Um, there we go. Hey, big hiking bag. I meant we're gonna we're gonna chop down some more trees and get set to do a little bit more carpentry work. That's where I was actually going with that sentence. Before the zombies stop by to say hello. Oh, I don't want to grab it. I'm gonna guess that we're probably not gaining points for this anymore. Yeah. Is that me? Did I make that noise? Looks like I made that noise. Farming, we should probably take farming level two, realistically. Where's this tree? I want to cut this tree down. Maybe come down here and cut these trees down. Come on. There we go. Alright. Now she's getting hungry. And she needs a break from her exertion anyways. Oh, hello. Did you hear me chopping down the trees? Wanted to see what was up. Oh, there's actually a decent number of you coming around the corner here, huh? It's probably the tree chopping, drawing attention. Come on. I guess we need to make a loop around the house. That just seems to be what's going to have to happen. Because these zombies are coming from somewhere. Oh, hello. There's somebody there. Yes, I already know he's there. Man, a lot of zombies around today. This is my home. Why are you near my home? Group out there. Hopefully they'll stay out there and not come over here. I'd like to build, I would very much like to get our skill up enough that we can actually build a, a uh, door on our, on our fence. That would make me a happy carp camper, happy carpenter. I don't know where, where those words came from. Alright, something in here gives us happiness. Can we, have ice, we don't have any ice cream? Unhappiness. Orange soda gives us unha unhappiness cures. Hey, that got rid of the unhappiness. Excellent. Alright, get back to our tree chopping. Oh, that tree was on the verge of falling down. No. Come on, there you go. I know I can just swing at them. Um, you can just do that and swing at them. Works about the same, so you can hear it. But it requires me to keep clicking the buttons and stuff, and that's a bigger pain in my ass, so that's why I usually do the right click. And the axe broke, okay. Can we repair this? I have wood glue. Hey, we got a little bit of repair out of it. Not the end of the world if this axe um, goes the way of the dodo. Because we have a couple more. But still, we'll be very sad. This was our first axe. It's been a good friend to us. And it would be sad to see it leave us. But it's bound to happen eventually. Only repair things for so long. 
right, there we go. Still can't really make much of anything, can we? Whoops. Come on, there we go. Alright, so let's get in here. Where's our saw? That's what we need right now. We need our saw. Let's saw some logs. Left the door open. That's just sloppy. Logs, nope. I want to saw logs, all of them. She's going to end up really tired here pretty soon. I'm not going to be able to do this for very long. You know what we should actually do as soon as she's done sawing these logs? Is have her read the Intermediates book for the rest of the day. That's what I'm going to do. It's been decided. That's the plan. Alright, why did we just get into alert music? Is somebody coming? No? Alright. Hey, it's raining. Excellent. Our plants will get nice and rained on. All right, let's start reading our intermediates book. Where is it? Go, will you go away, stupid? There. Read. Ooh, it's a thunderstorm. I'll let her read until about eight nineteen hundred, I think, and she'll go to sleep. That's good. All right. Let's eat. We still have some cheese? Oh, we do have some cheese. And our cabbage is rotten already. Man, that goes bad fast. We're gonna end up wasting several days, by the way. Because working on this stuff. In fact, I should probably focus on getting this rest of this book read first. That's probably the best plan. Let's just throw this over here. This cabbage, this is going to be our compost heap. Also known as our old food be heap, probably. <laughs> but, uh, that's fine. Aluminum. Let's put this away. Don't need you right now. Don't really know what you're for. Dog food. Tomato seeds, don't need those. There we go. Alright, so we're going to focus on reading the rest of our book before we do anything else. Alright, and fast forward. This is not going to be an exciting day for her. She'll spend it all day pretty much inside reading. When she gets to 200, page 200, I'm going to send her outside because I just got the alert. Actually, I'm doing it now. We've got alert music on, which makes me uncomfortable. Alright, so we got some zombies cruising by. Alright, she's down. Anybody else on their way by? I see this guy, but he's going into the woods. Hmm. See a little, little pack forming down there. Oh, hello. Oh, that was lucky. She got stuck on the trash can. Oh, that was a big deal. That was a very lucky move there. Where are you guys going? Just want to get inside? He's heading for my door. Hey, dude. Come here. I don't know how to make new doors yet. Yeah, I'll have to leave those alone. There's a third one in here somewhere. Oh, there's a lot more than a third one in here now. Let's not waste our axe problems here. There we go. You want to? You you try to have a nice quiet day, doing some carpentry and farming. 
And then things just go to hell. That's just how your day goes. You ever have one of those days? Try to have a nice quiet day at home and suddenly zombies are on your front door. I hate days like that. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. She's very tired though. This this makes me um this makes me uncomfortable. Let's see if we can get a couple of them. All right, we got one of them. All right, we got that one. She's rocking out something on her earbuds. This guy's Beardy McGee. Dr. Beard face. All right, got that guy. Who's next? Nope. Just him? Oh, we got two of them. Now, the way that they changed, my understanding of the way that they change zombies lately is to give them a um, a leader, so to speak, like, and that, and they coalesce sort of around leaders, and leaders will actually naturally try to avoid each other. Um, so if we accidentally pull the leader, we're gonna have problems because the whole group's gonna come with them. Of course, there's no way to tell who's the leader and who's just one of the rabble. Sounded like one was behind me there for a second. Alright, so there's three, six left. If we can get just one more pull of a few at a time, we, we have this no problem. I can do four. Vitamins in there. Vitamins are mildly helpful. Hey guys. Oh, took one down right away. Alright. Please fall down. There you go. Awesome. Foundation makeup. Duffel bag, ring, pearl necklace. That lady was wearing a lot of jewelry. Alright. Well, that spent end up spending most of our day taking care of that problem. Nobody else snuck in when we weren't looking, did they? No. Okay, good. How's our tomatoes looking? Still young tomatoes, huh? Oh, hello. I guess we have to do a perimeter search again, huh? Alright, let's do a perimeter search. Probably should have just pushed her down. Eyes makeup. Alright. We got a zombie coming this way. It's just the few of you over here. Four of you, it looks like. Maybe five? Yeah, five. Alright, that woke the other two up. There we go. Hey, there we go. That worked out better than I thought it would. Alright. Immediate vicinity is clear. And now she's very hungry and very tired. Oh, hello. Where do you people keep coming from? I kill and I kill and I kill. Hey, more rain. And you are in here now, too. I swear this the game just spawns them behind me, but I know that's not how it's supposed to work. 
And I want to believe... I want to believe in these, in these stone that you're doing it the way you said you did. How do we still have water? Alright, let's, let's eat, um, we'll eat all of this because we're in a, in the very hungry state. Yeah, that only put us into the peckish. Alright, we'll eat this beef jerky too. There we go. Alright, now it's sleepy time. She's going to have to sleep like 17, 18 hours to get back to normal. Alright, she's awake. Sleep a little bit more. There we go. I get up. There you go. Alright, nobody seems to be in our base at the moment. How's it looking out here? Life staying nice and clear. How many zombies have we killed? I'm just sort of curious. 433 as far as it's actually giving me credit for, but... You and I, viewer, dear viewer, my friends, you know that I've killed more than that. Because that's not counting the zombies that, that just burned to death through my actions. We didn't finish our book yet, did we? We did not. Alright, this is the first task. We gotta finish this book so that we get total points. Otherwise, we're just wasting time. So let's read this book. And fast forward. Now the game is supposed to, the way it's supposed to work anyways, the game will actually slow time down if you're about to get attacked by a zombie. Oh, that was a meta noise. And that's the end of the book, yes, right there, alright. Let's make sure there's no zombies in the, oh, there's the one. See if we can get this guy out of the, the woods here. Yeah, I hear you. Come on out. Do you have any friends, or is it just you? Just you? Hey, there you are. We've spent a lot of days just right by our house, by the way. Which means when we go back out into the world, it's gonna be a shit show. Alright. So let's eat a little bit more food. Let's have a cupcake for dinner. I think we've earned it. There we go. And we're done with this book, right? So we can throw it on the ground with the other book. I like that we're just complete slobs. This is this is how we live the life after the apocalypse. Whatever. Throw it on the ground. Who cares? I'll put this wood glue away, too. There, there we go. Oh, I hear a zombie. Somebody is close enough. Hey, hey, come here. Get out of my get out of my plants. You're gonna get all in my plants. Don't trample my plants. Uh, come here. It's not good for them. Don't step on them. Hopefully they're okay. Well watered and flourishing. How are our tomatoes? They're okay. Alright. One more quick more quick patrol and then we'll go to sleep. Alright, that's safe. Do 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 Alright. Okay. We're safe. No problem. There we go. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna stop here for today. Hope you're enjoying it. Even though this episode was mostly, you know, housekeeping kind of stuff. Well, there was zombie killing. But that's kind of housekeeping in the post-apocalyptic world. 
If you are liking it, consider uh, leaving me a like, helps me out a great deal, and I'll see you guys uh, back here later. Thanks so much.